hello everyone welcome to the channel if you are not able to see the UEFI firmware setting on your windows pc or laptop so this video is for you i will show how to troubleshoot this issue and how to enable the UEFI firmware setting so basically UEFI firmware setting is a new setting if you are using the legacy mode there are two types of bios mode guys the first one is legacy that is the older and the newer one is UEFI this support is most of the new systems and legacy one is your old system so first of all check which bios mode you are using in your windows so in order to check that let me go to the windows so in order to check that you need to press windows plus r button this is a windows key and you need to press r button once you press the windows plus r button you need to type with this ms info 32 okay just type this and hit ok option once you click on ok option the system property will be opening up you need to go to the bios mode as you can see here guys i have the uefi bios mode but if you have the legacy mode so you have to change it from uefi to bios but before changing that you need to execute some commands in the command probe so that your system operating files can be loaded with the uefi firmware setting okay so open the cmd as admin here cmd run it as admin now you need to type for the command guys m b r 2 gpt this is a file system dot exe space forward slash convert space then forward slash allow full os allow full os so this is a command guys you need to execute mbr to gpt.exe space forward slash convert space allow full os so once you execute this command you need to hit enter I have already the UEFI as well as the GPT partitions so it is saying fail but you have to restart your system now and we need to go to the BIOS so in my case the Dell laptop I am using the BIOS key is F2 key you need to check accordingly what is the BIOS key on your laptop once you reboot it you need to press F2 key in the HP uh, or in the Dell laptop and in the HP laptop it would be F10 or escape key once windows get shut down so you need to press like this so now in here we need to go to the boot sequence can see here guys and you should able to see here the two options one is legacy the second one is uefi or csm you should able to check that but you need to change it from you need to change it from the legacy or csm to uefi once you have click on this option you need to click on save changes just click on this option apply and click on then exit now your system should boot from the UEFI firmware settings and your issue should fix. If after this applying this method your system is not booting or from the legacy to UEFI that you have to reformat your system with the BIOS mode UEFI. So I hope guys after applying these method your issue is fixed then hit like subscribe and share. Thank you. Thanks for watching.